you believe I'm doing this again, but we are doing it again. Hello. <sighs> I'm just gonna wait for you all. Can't believe I'm doing this again. But you all asked for it, so I'm on it. Hi. Hello everybody. Come and say hi to me. Hello. <laughs> Come on, say hello to me because you all asked for me to hi. do this again. <laughs> hello, I know I'm sat here in a pair of pants. I'm very aware of that. It's because everybody, everybody has asked me to redo this video that I posted on my, um, on my Instagram the other week. And everybody is like, oh my God, please can you do it again? Hello. So here I am in a pair of pants, <laughs> uh, going over my cellulite routine again. Um, so I'm just gonna share this to my pages and then we will get on and I will answer all of the questions that you have and we will carry on. So just give me one second. So first things first, we've got 20% off this Easter weekend in our store. I've put the link above here. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, so Rebecca, you should be already on this. I told you that I told you about this before anybody else. You should be all over this girl. Hello, 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 hello. So, hi. <laughs> For everybody that is checking in right now, I did my cellulite routine on my Instagram about a week ago. So I'm gonna cut this very short to get straight into it. For about six months, I have been religiously, not four days on, one day off, not every now and then, I've been religiously doing three things when I get in the shower, and it's made such a difference. I'm just gonna, oh, things I do for you. So, I'm 38 years old, I'm not a baby, I'm not standing before you going, you know, it's not, it's not genetics. I work my ass off. You've seen how, I, how hard I work. I work my ass off. I eat right. I don't drink. I don't smoke. And that does help with not having as much cellulite. But as you get older, things start to, <laughs> things start to happen that you can't change. Things happen. Okay? So, we're going to do it all over again. So, you can save this. You can rewatch it. You can go out and get the bits. Now, I'm not going to tell you where to buy these things from. I'll tell you where I brought mine from. The reason is because those of you that keep messaging me and saying, can you show me the link? Can you give me the link? Unless I feel the items that I'm describing to you, I can't recommend them and I don't want to be the one that's spending your money. So I'll tell you what I use and then you can make your adult executive decision. Okay. So this is my arse, everybody. Get used to it. This is it. You've seen more on the internet. This is my, I can't do it in shorts. It's just impossible. I need to put pants on. So this is my arse. It's got a lot smoother since I've been doing these three things. Okay? So I do this routine in the shower. I use my normal um, soap for the first two out, two goers, and then I use an oil for the last thing, okay? So get in the shower, the first two things that we do, you're just gonna put on a bit of water, put on your soap, and you're gonna do the things that I'm gonna show you. And then on the last one, you're gonna need some kind of oil, because it doesn't work with soap very well, and you do not want to do it, for those of you that's already brought it and know what this feels like, you do not want to do it on dry skin. Okay, so the first thing, is I'm going to post this on my Instagram as well, so if you want to type in Body Rock onto Instagram, you can um, get all of the details. If you've got any questions, please put them here. I can read all your questions. So the first thing, I at home, I haven't brought it with me, I forgot it, and I'm devastated. At home, I've got like a giant brush. That's the only way I can describe it. It's got a giant, it's got a head like this. I'll post the picture of the one I use on my Instagram. It's got a giant head on it, and then it's got bristles on it about that thick. And the bristles are this strong. See how, how um, hard they are? They're not super tough as this is, because this is the nearest thing I could find. I've been everywhere in Toronto. Shoppers only do the really soft brushes. It doesn't work if you use a soft brush, because when you put water on the soft brush, it gets softer. So imagine you're in the shower, this is my brush. 
you put water on it, you put soap on it, then what you're going to do is you're going to be in the shower, you're going to put your foot on the bath and you're going to do scrubbing. Now I count to 50, and that's it, but you need to make sure that you're rubbing towards the heart to get your lymph nodes moving. So we're going to scrub for 50, one, two, I've got water on here, I've got soap on here, you don't have to, you can do it on your own in bed, but it hurts a lot more without that. Five, six, seven. Now make sure that you get all the abundance here. Right under there. Eight, nine, ten. Inside your leg. Twelve, thirteen. Do circles. Do figure eight. Do all of that jazz. I count to fifty. So it literally takes like thirty seconds. One, two, three, blah, blah, blah. forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-eight. Then I do the other side. Right underneath. I've been doing this religiously for six months. I promise you, I wouldn't be standing on, an, on a Facebook page with my arse out if I didn't think this was worth sharing with you guys. So keep going, keep going, keep going. I count to 50. Now, obviously, when you're on your own in the bath, you can really get your leg up and get... <laughs> it hurts a lot more without water. So, rub, 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 rub. So what this is doing now is it's getting all of our blood vessels to, to the surface, okay? So, rub, 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 rub. So we've done that, we've done with this. This is not what I would use. This, I use a big like handheld brush. You can find them in like good beauty stores, but make sure that it's quite rough. Don't, don't, if, it, if you touch it and it's gentle, it's pointless. You might as well not use it. Then what I have <clears throat> is, I've got to put some oil on my skin because it's hurting. So get some coconut oil or some baby oil. Preferably coconut oil. Now, remember, I'm in the shower still, okay? So I'm in the, in the shower in the morning. I'm just gonna put some oil on my skin so it's a bit easier for me to do, to do it for you. Just oil up here. Hello. Hi. So, in the shower. Water, water, water. Soap, soap, soap. One, two, three, four, up to 50. Rub, 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 rub. Get right in there. Do that. Then, I've got one of these. Can you see? Now this, this is an Elle McPherson one. She doesn't make this anymore. I've tried to find one for my sister everywhere because she lost hers and she loved it. You can find very similar on Amazon, but this is what I use. Now, again, we're in the shower. Soap, soap, soap. One, two, three, rub, just get it in there. Now because it's got bumps on it, the first time you use it, I promise you, you'll be like, because it's going to be getting in all those fat pockets and they hurt. So get right under all the bits that you hate, really put some pressure on it. Again, make circles, figure eights, move it around. Get, have you got your leg on the bath? <laughs> Again, I count to 50. I do the inside of my leg as well, outside of my leg. It's brilliant for after leg day. It's like doing the worst kind of rolling you've ever done in your life. So, all the way, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. It's like a workout. Again, other side. Now, you don't have to do this in the shower. You can just get your oil while you're watching Game of Thrones, and you can just get it out and just do it. If you're going to start this, though, believe me when I tell you, it takes some getting used to. It took me about a month to get used to how it feels. It's a little bit... Because you're aggravating fat cells and cellulite, it, it's, it's, it gets, gets a bit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So keep going right under, under there, the bits that we all hate. Believe me, my legs did not look like this six months ago, but I've religiously done this for six months. I'm trying to read your... <sighs> so, that is the second thing I use, and I'm still in the shower right now. So I'm in the shower, I've done my scrubbing, and I've done my thing. Then the third thing that I use, I got recommended by, excuse me, I got recommended by in Los Angeles when I was there last. So I was staying at Laurie's and her roommate used one of these. So this is a cupping cup, you see? Now a lot of people use these for when they're injured to release the fascias and to make the nerve endings release um, for detoxification, things like that. I don't use it for that. 
Now, there are lots of different types of these you can get. You preferably need one that's got the bit that you can hold like that. There are different types. If you buy these off Amazon, you'll get two big ones and two little ones. I don't really use the little ones, I just, use, I just travel with this one and I take it everywhere. So, again, back to the beginning, I'm in the shower. 50, with my scrubbing brush, not this scrubbing brush, the other one that I've got at home, but if you get the idea, I'll post it on my Instagram, the one I've got. 50, with the, uh, I love this one, it's my favorite, it gets right in there. 50 with that. Then, with whatever oil you use, um, whether it's baby oil, whether it's um, coconut oil, like what I'm using here. Now you can see how, look how red my leg is. That's all my blood that's come to the surface. That means, the, that means that I've really aggravated my blood cells and my, my skin, and it's really got right to the surface. Can you see? So then, with this, now, a lot of you have already done this. A lot of you have already had this baby and messaged me <laughs> and sent me horrendous messages saying, what the, ow. It does, honestly, when you first do it, it, it's not pleasant, but it will work, okay? So, I'm in the bath. Now, with this thing, I need to get a bit close on, I'm sorry, but this is my ass cheek, and I know. So, the harder you press on this, the more it's gonna, suck okay so for first just take it nice and gently and all you're going to do is just roll it around and that's it and you're just going to roll it backwards and forwards and what it's doing is it's lifting the top layer off and it's massaging all of your um cellulite i promise you i promise 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 you this has changed my legs otherwise i wouldn't be standing to the world with my arse out on Facebook. But there's a lot of you out there that send me messages about this all the time. And I've, I've actually done this for six months and it's actually worked. So all that bullshit that you hear online about drinking more water and eating right and exercising, those things you do have to do, absolutely. But they're not gonna change your cellulite overnight. This actually has improved all of my legs. So. The harder that you push on this, so I'm in the shower still, and that is quite hard now, because I've been doing this for a while. So you have to get really right up into all those parts. Now don't hold it in one place for a long time, otherwise you'll be using it for what, what the cooking is actually for, and it'll bruise you. It won't last for long, it'll last for about a day. But what I'm doing is I'm stimulating all of my muscles, I'm moving, all my lymph nodes around, and I'm moving the fat cells. So it's almost like I'm doing a really good massage. Again, other side. The harder you push, can you see how that's stuck on my leg? So the harder you push, the more intense it's gonna be. When I first started, I hardly could push it on at all. So sometimes if I've got nothing to do, and I'm watching a movie or something, I'll just get it out. Now, if you're on your own, ladies, you can really get in there. You can get your leg right up there and get right in there. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of a, you know, a girl evening. So, get right in. Really get into the parts that you don't like. And make sure that you are actually moving it around. And really pushing up towards the heart. Okay? So, again, I'm going to go over what I've just done. You get a brush in the shower, water, so brush with your handheld brush. I'll put this on my Instagram. So brush, 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 brush for about 50. Make circles, figure eights, all the way around. Don't miss anywhere, okay? You're gonna use your massager, again. Really get, move that fat cell around, up. Get in, all the way around. <sighs> Things I do for you. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, into your bum. You see how red my leg is, because I'm stimulating. And then you get your cup in, and you go round in circles, all the way around, all the way, in the bits that we don't like. That, that's my bit there, that bit there at the bottom. In the bits that you don't like, all the way around. Now, when you first do this, please be aware 
that it is going to feel a little bit, little bit intense, but it will get easier, I promise. Also, if you have like, you know like your knees get a little bit soft, you can use it on your knees and move the collagen, get your lymph nodes. It's like anything, if you want your muscles to grow, you work it. If you want something to change, you have to work it. So it has taken me a good six months to see a really, really good change. So if you want to see a change, you've got to be patient and you've got to make it part of your, almost as, as daily as brushing your teeth. Okay? But I will show you how smooth my legs are now. Like they were, they were not that bad, but they were a thousand times better than they were in six months. Now that has got to do with a lot of the fact that in Sweat Flicks I've been really working on using more resistance bands, we've been working on more leg workouts, we've been doing a lot more strength, so that would have helped as well. So if you want to incorporate some of my workouts, you can. You just uh, click the link above. Um, but that's it. So again, I'm gonna go over it for the last time. <laughs> so I don't have to do this again. I'm at home, I've got a brush. It's got a head on it like this, and then it's got little spikes on it like this scrubbing brush. And it's like a giant brush. And you can also get handheld brushes as well. It needs to be quite intense. You're gonna brush in the shower with some water and some soap. 50, make circles up towards the heart. 50 each side. Then you're gonna take your massager. You're gonna rub 50 each side. Really get underneath the bits that you don't like. Then you're gonna get your oil, whatever oil you're using, whether it's your bath oil, whether it's your baby oil, whether it's coconut oil. You get your copper, squeeze it on, and then you're gonna do 50 of your cupping, okay? That is my daily routine that I've been doing for six months and it has almost got rid of all of my cellulite. Obviously I work out, obviously I'm very aware that I've been pushing us on legs in sweat flicks. Um, so if you're training with me, that's an important part of it as well. Obviously I don't drink, I eat right, so all of these things you have to take into consideration as well. But if you want to change it, this is what I've done and it's worked. So no BS, no drink this tea or take this pill. It's just been a case of dry brushing, massaging, and then cupping on my legs. And I've been doing that. It takes about, honestly, three minutes in the shower. That's it. it takes about three minutes and then it's done. And it, it's not like, it's not like taking up loads of time. I'm not putting time aside to do it. I just do it in the shower in the morning and it's, completely almost got rid of my cellulite so that's it <laughs> i got my cuppers from amazon they were honestly about including postage about 12 quid this is an l mcpherson massager but you can find hand massages <laughs> good luck with searching for that you can find hand massages <laughs> Um, on Amazon the same, but try to get some with really big spikes. The spikier they are, the more it's gonna get into those like fat cells and move them around and break them up. Um, and then obviously my oil, I would use coconut oil or you can get some really nice shower oils. You do really need an oil for the cupping section because it just gets it moving a little bit easier. But when you get in the cups, make sure you get the cups with the two, two handles like that, okay? So, anything else? Horrendously awesome. It is, honestly, it's horrible. Like, the first time you use it, I did it on my sister for the first time, and she, was, she couldn't even take it. She couldn't even take it. But it, it's because you're almost pulling the fascia away and moving fat cells around. It's not comfortable. It's like when you first go for a massage. It's not comfortable, but the more you go, the more you do it, the more you get used to it, and the easier it gets. So, as you do this religiously, it will get easier and the, the, the muscle will start to like free up and the fat cells will start to break down and it'll become easier and easier and easier. Okay? Yeah, that's Melissa's on it.
Yes, there you go. So some of you have already got it. Some of you already saw this video um, on my Instagram and you've already got it, but I did promise that I would put it somewhere that everybody could see it. So I've done it. <laughs> I've kept to my word. I'm now going to take my bum off Facebook. <laughs> Um, I do it every single day without without fail. If I don't get it in the morning, I'll do it at night time. I always make sure I do it because I've seen such a great, like, like it's, it, it's probably without spending a lot of money, the best thing I've ever done that's actually got results. You know, you have face creams that they say is going to do this and it never does. And you've got this and that that says it's going to do that and it never does. This actually has worked for me. Like, it's crazy how much different it is. My skin's smoother. It's just worked. It's like if you Google uh, dry brushing, you will see that dry brushing alone has had such a great impact on just moving the like blood flow and the lymph nodes and moving it all around the body and getting rid of it. That on its own will work. So if you've only got a brush, just dry brush. But the three of these together have worked really well for me. So I hope it works for you. I hope that you'll see a difference, but you have to do it every day. You can't do it for a week and expect it all to disappear because it's just not going to work. Um, I've been doing it, for, honestly, for six months, and it's just started to, like, really change for me. So, that's it. Um, I'm going to go and put some pants on. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.